You're watching The Big Story on Magic Bricks now. I'm Amitabh Alachandra. On The Big Story, we continue our focus on the war on black money. It is day five since Modi's announcement, but ATMs continue to open to long queues. But what comes as a healthy change is that now wholesale dealers, traders and retailers are going online, indicating India is slowly migrating towards being a less cash society. On The Big Story, we find out how prepared are we for the giant leap. But first, the headlines. PM Modi reaches out, reassures citizens' calls for a BJP party meeting, NDA and a cabinet meet. Meanwhile, the opposition also calls for a separate meeting. Day 5 since the crackdown, long queues continue but spike in debit cards and online payments indicate India is slowly inching towards becoming a less cash society. And government hikes limit on cash withdrawals from bank accounts, exchange limit hike to 4,500 rupees while daily ATM withdrawal limit is set at 2,500 rupees. And good news coming in from Tamil Nadu Chief Minister J. Jayalalitha in a signed letter from the Apollo Hospital signals recovery. Come back expected soon. Straight up to our top story, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday acknowledged the hardship being faced by people in India post the demonetization. While addressing a political rally in UP's Ghazipur, he reasserted that the government's move is in larger public interest. He also brought up the issue of counterfeit notes and how it is harming the economy. Listen in to some key highlights of his speech. तो मेरे प्यारे भाइयों बहनों उसमें थोड़ा समय भी लग सकता है उसमें थोड़ी तकलीफ भी हो सकती है और इसलिए मेरे प्यारे भाइयों बहनों मेरा आपसे आग्रह है कि आप स्वयं सक्रिय होकर के गांव गांव लोगों को धैर्य दे विश्वास दे और मैंने कल भी कहा था आठ तारीख रात को आठ बजे भी कहा था मैंने सिर्फ पचास दिन मांगे तीस दिसंबर तक ये सारी प्रक्रिया पूरी करने के लिए अठारह अठारह बीस बीस घंटे हमारे बैंक के लोग काम कर रहे हैं भाई छुट्टियां खत्म करके काम कर रहे हैं घर में मां बहन कोई बीमार हो तो भी बैंक में काम कर रहे हैं अरे कांग्रेस वालों ने तो अपनी कुर्सी के लिए 19 महीने देश को जेल खाना बना दिया था मैंने तो गरीबों की खुशी के लिए 50 दिन थोड़ी सी तकलीफ झेलने के लिए प्रार्थना की आपने मेरी बात को सुना था कि नहीं सुना था आपने मुझे भ्रष्टाचार के खिलाफ लड़ाई लड़ने के लिए प्रधानमंत्री बनाया कि नहीं बनाया मुझे बताइए आपने जो मुझे कहा वो मुझे करना चाहिए कि नहीं करना चाहिए करना चाहिए कि नहीं करना चाहिए अगर मैं पांच सौ रुपये की नोट बंद करता हूं मैं हजार की नोट बंद करता हूं तो आपने जो काम कहा है वही कर रहा हूं कि नहीं कर रहा हूं आप मुझे बताइए भाई बहनों सबके सब लोग हाथ ऊपर करके ताली बजा करके
जब गांव का व्यक्ति भी देश की ईमानदारी के लिए इतना कष्ट झेलने के लिए तैयार है मुझे विश्वास है हिंदुस्तान में अब बेईमानों के लिए PM Modi there reassuring the nation in his speech that the government will deliver in the meantime traders wholesalers are moving towards electronic transactions small keeper uh, shopkeepers as well are accepting card payments for transactions below 100 rupees suesha savant gets us a report on how mumbai's kirana walas are going plastic at a time when most customers and shopkeepers are finding it difficult to get change pm modi's vision of uh, moving towards a less cash economy is slowly taking shape over the days as uh, uh, several shopkeepers are now accepting card payments of smaller transactions of up to 100 rupees 150 rupees 200 uh, rupees in fact i spoke uh, with a couple of uh, shopkeepers of uh, who are, who are selling smaller goods like uh, supermarkets grocery stores bakeries uh, uh, ice cream parlors uh, all of them are now accepting uh, card payments of up to 100 rupees 150 rupees because they want to make it easier for the customers in fact they also tell me that uh, in the last few days their card uh, transactions have literally gone up by 50 to 70% and all the, on the whole as uh, the system is easing out uh, for customers uh, uh, shopkeepers uh, in fact those of them who don't accept card payments are now accepting checks of uh, literally uh, 100 rupees or more than that so they are now opening up to the idea of uh, uh, accepting more plastic money and making it easier uh, for customers which is easing out the system on the whole this is suesha sam for magic bricks now we are taking like payments of 100 rupees 150 120 140 whatever they are uh, convenient we are taking uh, card payments as of now because uh, they are not having currency and all so we have to support them we are accepting card but 100 and above because we've got even biscuits and cakes and bread so we can't just get a card payment for like pao for 6 rupees so we accept for 100 and above because people don't have cash right now it's very difficult for people to have and even those who have 2000 rupees they don't have change for hundreds so they're forced to use the cards so 200 pe card swap kar lete hain aisa nahi to koi atak bhi gaya to koi kal kam bhi kar lete फिलहाल तो कैश ही लेते हैं और अगर हमारा जो रोजाना कस्टमर है उससे चेक भी हम मांगते हैं और चेक कम से कम में कल सेवेंटी फाइव रुपीज़ का ले जाए जो हमारा रोजाना रोजाना कस्टमर है उसके अलावा जो कस्टमर के पास चेंज नहीं है जो हम उसको पहचानते हैं सालों से या महीनों से तो उसको ऐसे भी माल दे देते हैं कि भाई जब आपके पास जो चेंज होकर आवे तब आप हमको पेमेंट करके जब आप अपना काम चलाओ हाँ हम लोग रेगुलर कस्टमर से चेक एक्सेप्ट कर रहे हैं उनको कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है हमको भी कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है लेकिन आ, क्या आ, कार्ड स्वाइप करने का कैसा रहता है कार्ड स्वाइप करने के लिए पहले अभी कस्टमर कस्टमर के पास कार्ड्स है लेकिन हमारे पास मशीन्स नहीं है ना तो वो अवेलेबल होने के लिए भी एक महीना जाएगा ऑन द बिग स्टोरी टुडे वी आस्क इज इंडिया रेडी फॉर द जायट लीप वे जॉइंट इन बाय रौनक सुतारिया द चीफ टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट at india spend ronak welcome to the show first of all uh, there's a whole section of people who are hailing uh, the government's move saying that it will yield long term benefits and there's a whole section of people saying uh, arguing that this could have been implemented better but what is your take on this uh, my question to you is simply this is india ready at this point in time is this a logical step to move towards a less uh, cash dependent society I mean I think absolutely I mean I uh, I think we've been using uh, <coughs> digital transactions and e-commerce now for a decade and uh, while that has been an urban phenomena I think uh, the opening of bank accounts has been a fairly prevalent uh, thing over the last uh, decade too you know the Jandhan Yojana has actually opened about 25 crore accounts uh, over the last 2 years so I think the move towards uh, digital transactions is definitely happening and uh, more and more centers and more and more uh, people are definitely moving so i think to answer your question i don't see any reason why uh, we are not ready for moving towards the entire digital payments infrastructure then tell us this rona what kind of infrastructure do we need uh, to really make this happen do we have that kind of infrastructure i mean yes certainly i mean i think uh, see all all uh, commercial organizations were anyway largely transacting in the digital manner i mean so but the last mile transactions you know in your local grocery stores and all 
yes, those were all cash-based. Your local transport was always cash-based. Uh, and I mean, see, the fact remains that the 100 rupee notes, the 10 rupee notes, the 50 rupee notes are not, have not gone away. So your, your daily commute, I mean, your daily purchases still can happen in cash. Uh, this is really targeting the high value transactions, you know, transactions about 1000 rupees and above. So, so I think the fact remains that for those people who are transacting in a single transaction, which were amounting to 1000 uh, rupees and above, I think those were people who could anyways, you know, uh, afford to get into the plastic money and uh, the, the uh, phone based money. So I, I don't see any reason why we are not ready for that. All right, Ronak, uh, stay with us. We'll continue this conversation. In the meantime, talking about demonetization. The scarcity of cash has also had a positive fallout as India copes with demonetization. Many customers and traders are opting for cashless transactions. My colleague Disha Shah gets us this report from Mumbai's Crawford Market. Wholesalers have started accepting payments in checks. That's the big impact on the crackdown by the Modi government. And in fact, I'm standing here at the Crawford Market in Mumbai, which is known as one of the most crowded places in Mumbai to buy fruits and uh, vegetables. But at this point in time, you can see that this place looks empty because of the government scrapping 500,000 rupee currency notes is what the small traders told us. In fact, when we also spoke to a few of the small traders here, they told us is that the business is affected by more than 50% each passing day. They tell us that they don't have enough customers who come to them to buy fruits and vegetables because they they don't have enough uh, um, uh, money, which is uh, 500 or 1000 rupee currency notes. What we also understand at this point in time is uh, that they have to refuse uh, customers who end up paying them 2000 rupee notes because they don't have money to give them back. So they say that they are suffering from major losses at this point in time. Even in terms of stock, they tell us that this stock, the fruit and the vegetable stock can last only up to a day. So if these goes unused or unsold, then these uh, stocks uh, get uh, uh, is cannot they cannot use it the next day so they suffer 20 percent of the loss uh, on the total amounts of course they all in all they tell us is that although this is a very good move by the uh, Modi government but at the end of the day it has affected their daily earning and living in a very big way this is Ishasha reporting here for magic fix now अभी वैसा बिजनेस हो ही नहीं रहा है हमारा जो माल आ रहा है वैसे पड़ा पड़ा सड़ रहा है लेकिन हमारे पास नोट चेंज नहीं होने के कारण कोई ग्राहक ले रहा नहीं करेंसी बैन होने की वजह से कि जो हम लोग के जो कस्टमर थे उन लोग के पास चेंज है नहीं तो इन लोग भी ऐसा बता रहे कि हम लोग लाइन में चार घंटा बैंक के पास खड़े रह के चार चेंज मिलता है उसमें भी एक दो का नोट मिलता है बाकी बीस हंड्रेड के नोट मिलते हैं वो हम लोग कैसा हम लोग यूज़ कर डाले एक ही साथ मतलब तो जो जहाँ पाँच किलो ले रहे थे उसकी जगह पर आधा किलो एक किलो लेके रोज रोज का काम चला रहे हम ऐसा हो रहा है कि 500,000 का नोट वो नहीं ले रहे इसके वजह से हमको तकलीफ हो रही है इधर भी कस्टमर को 500,000 लेकर लेगा तो हम कैसे देगा सौ पचास का माल लेंगे वो तो हज़ार का नोट लेगा तो सौ सौ का नौ सौ रुपया कई देर से देगा तो ये प्रॉब्लम से हमारा नुकसान हो रहा है बहुत तो गिराक आता है लेकिन कैसा पाँच और हज़ार के अलावा नोट नहीं निकल रहा है और हमारे पास इतना छुट्टा भी नहीं है Tisha Shah there getting us uh, that story where uh, traders and customers in the city of Mumbai are opting for online transactions. In fact, Ronak is still with us in the studio. Ronak, uh, do you think this will be a significant, the fact that, uh, you know, people are moving towards uh, electronic transfers, do you think there is a significant, uh, you know, uh, impact there that, uh, over the long term? I mean, definitely. I think, see, uh, this is there's going to be a learning curve for everybody involved uh, who are moving for the first time towards making digital payments. So I think this was an unavoidable uh, step. I mean, it's happening in a very short, compressed time frame. So, so the uh, the pangs, the the pains are being felt. But I think, from a long-term perspective, there is definitely uh, this will have a positive impact. But having said that, I think the, the challenge right now, besides the actual transactions happening, is also going to be around the whole digital payment security aspects, which I don't know how adequately has that been thought through, because you know, you've now involved a third party in making a transaction. 
the credit card agency or the banking agencies need to be able to handle any kind of a support or uh, challenges that are faced by the merchants or the consumers. So the fact remains that you know these things have not been tested out at the scale at which they are being implemented. So I think there is definitely a significant concern around what happens if there are fraudulent transactions. Mm. And uh, definitely, you know, people who are doing these for the first time, uh, chances of having fraudulent transactions are going to be extremely high in the coming months. So is the entire digital infrastructure geared for handling those levels of complaints around security and fraudulent uh, payments uh, remains to be seen. Also tell us, Ronak, at this point in time, over the last couple of days, we saw several online play, play, players like uh, Paytm, etc., Ola, uh, Uber come out and say that, you know, uh, this is a great move by the government, but it's also about uh, getting small businesses to move towards a less uh, cash society. And that's going to take, uh, you know, not just infrastructure, but also changing mindsets. Yeah, I mean, I think that's exactly what you've hit the nail on the head. Like, this is really a mindset thing right now, where uh, learning to transact using your phone or the web is something which will have to be adopted at a very rapid pace. And as a society, are we geared for that in our smaller towns remains to be seen. Uh, so I think the, the bigger onus right now, I mean, and I think given you guys are also in media and doing a good job, is to communicate what really needs to be done, you know, because this was something in the making for a while. But now that it has, it has happened, I think it is the, it's the onus and the responsibility of uh, the communications agency to make sure that people are adequately informed of what is the right way to do things. All right, Ronak, stay with us. We will continue this conversation. In the meantime, stranded trucks at Daba's highways and vegetable market is the on-ground situation for trucks and transporters all over India. The reason they're falling short of cash to give the truck drivers. Ruchi Deshpande caught up with Bal Singh, the chief of All India Motor Transport Congress. Let's listen in. फ्रूट्स वो बिक नहीं रहा है और उसकी वजह से आज मार्केट पूरा ठप पड़ा हुआ है जैसे कि आज मंडे है तो नॉर्मली क्या होता है संडे को जब भी मार्केट बंद रहता है तो मंडे को डबल अराइवल होता है पर आज भी पौने दो सौ गाड़ी के ऊपर आज भी माल आया नहीं है वो भी टोटल माल अभी हमने ग्राहक को जो है वो दो महीने के तीन महीने के क्रेडिट के ऊपर लेके जाओ पर ये माल बेचो क्योंकि अगर माल नहीं बिकेगा तो फार्मर को प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगा और आज हम लोग फार्मर को जो पेमेंट कर रहे हैं वो हमारे सीसी अकाउंट से आज हम लोग पेमेंट कर रहे हैं अमन मैन को जो अभी जो प्रॉब्लम फेस करना पड़ेगा जो सफिशिएंट सप्लाई जो होना चाहिए सिटी के हिसाब से उसमें थोड़ी सी गिरावट आ जाएगी अगर उसमें गिरावट आ जाएगी तो जो रिटेलर आज जो आज भी आप देखोगे तो रिटेल और होलसेल में रेट डिफरेंस ज्यादा हो जाता है और फिर माल शॉर्टेज हो जाता है तो ब्लैक मार्केटिंग का फिर चालू हो जाता है कोई भी ऑब्वियसली शॉर्ट हो जाता है तो ब्लैक मार्केटिंग चालू हो जाता है तो कॉमन मैन को ये आगे फेस करना पड़ेगा अगर ये सिचुएशन नहीं सुधरी तो ये मंडी भी शायद बंद हो सकती है and ronak is with in with us in the studio uh, ronak uh, tell us this now we were talking about uh, digital payments and you highlighted that security is a big challenge there uh, how can the government uh, you know move towards fixing that problem what are the steps that the government needs to focus on you know one is of course uh, before the government comes in the digital the payment infrastructure the people who are making it you know the uh, the mobile wallets and uh, even i mean the banks which are rolling out their uh, you know net banking features need to create a great deal of awareness on what is the right way to do it you know i mean they've implemented things like uh, phone otp based uh, authentication but i think the the uh, the education and the awareness needs to be far more significant you know for first time users so i think there there is a significant uh, lack of uh, creating proper awareness and subsequently, I think the biggest lacuna is going to be in uh, uh, 
uh, creating these support mechanisms where people can reach out to helplines when they actually have a problem. Because today, I mean, the rate at which these uh, payments are getting adopted, uh, you know, if for uh, <coughs> unfortunately, if anybody has any fraudulent transactions that might happen with their card or with their phone, there is going to be no recourse available as of now to them. So I think uh, these are issues which need to be addressed at a very, very rapid pace. And uh, I mean, it, it waits to be seen if, if the government will be able to do that. Also, uh, Ronak, at this point in time, oh, you know, through this bulletin, we also saw that several people have now started to go uh, uh, move towards, uh, you know, less cash, uh, cash options simply because they don't have enough cash. Do you think that will last because uh, the government and several uh, uh, people have ho also highlighted that uh, this is just a, a short term pain? I mean, I think for people who are transacting, uh, you know, with with all uh, valid legal money, I don't see why there's a rush to, you know, get all their cash exchanged right away. Uh, so to answer your question, I mean, uh, you know, people who are withdrawing money on a day to day basis or a week to week basis are the ones who are definitely facing the challenges. But people who are transacting in cash, I don't see any. Re and if they were accounting for that cash. I mean, I think that the, the big uh, point here remains that people who are accounting for the cash they were receiving should have no worries in continuing to accept 500 rupees and 1,000 rupees. I mean, I'm seeing notices all over Bombay saying 1,000 rupees not accepted, but there is no reason not to accept till 30th of December if you are accounting for all the cash that you are receiving. Right. Right, Ranak, uh, there's just news coming in that uh, the all-party meet is over and Venkai and I do is speaking at the moment. Let's listen in. 220 lakh tons. 220 lakh tons. And whereas the consumption is only 60,000 60, tons. And remaining, either going for industry or for export. That being the case, is all a false propaganda carried out by Western interests to derail the reformist process that is taken by the government. So we want to urge upon the people to understand the game plan of these people and then stand firmly with the government. I have no problem and we will answer them as and when required. Secondly, एक झूठ नहीं हुआ आपका जो असेसमेंट है ना अंदाजा एक गलत है जो वो तो ठीक है उनको जो साथ है साथ देने दीजिए कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है जनता देखेंगे कौन 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 who is standing by the people who are trying to criticize the system who is standing with the holders or with the corrupt people that will be known to the people as and when an opportunity comes that everybody takes stand political parties are free to their own, take their own stand but I am sure I'm happy many of the opposition parties also, they are welcoming the, the addition of the government, they are all praising the Prime Minister's uh, historic move and they are one with the nation. Prime Minister said, he thanked all the parties and said this is not, this, this is not, this credit will not go to him personally, he said it credit will go to all the parties that are standing firm with government, the NDA partners steadfast standing with the government all these days, whatever decisions I am taking are all because of the unity, because of the solidarity which you are all giving to me, that is my strength and I will continue to do it. People were, people were sometimes were feeling by indifferent, kya hoga, kya nahi hoga, kuch kar paayenge kya. NDA ke And Ronak Sutarya uh, of India Spend is with us in the studio. Ron Ronak, very quickly before we wrap up the discussion, tell us, uh, give us a couple of steps that you think the government must take at this point to implement, uh, you know, a less uh, cash-dependent society. I mean, I think the key step the government was doing was opening of bank accounts. And I think that was happening at a pace. I mean, uh, but I think that needs to, you know, triple and quadruple in the coming few months the pace of opening of bank accounts in, in uh, all over the country. So I think uh, that's going to be the most significant step in this entire process is we need uh, almost everybody to have bank accounts. And uh, subsequently, I think dispensing of cash is something that the government needs to, you know, sort it out. I mean, they've done a bad job. I mean, I don't think anybody will deny the fact that 
the dispensation of the cash has been um, you know, found to be severely lacking. So I think the government in the coming month needs to sort that piece out on how can, uh, and I think they can do that by creating more <coughs> awareness uh, on the pace at which the, the cash dispensation should happen. So it should not look like a controlled uh, thing. Everybody who wants cash should get cash, but government needs to make sure that there are no rumors and there are no uh, you know, stuff which is uh, creating incorrect impressions. Right, uh, creating awareness uh, along with building infrastructures must be the key highlight uh, for the government at this point in time, is what Ronak says of uh, India Span. Thank you so much for joining us here on Magic Bricks. Now, in the meantime, we also caught up with a couple of citizens who were seen running pillar to post in search of a functional ATM. While many felt that the curb on black money was much needed, many said that it could have been implemented better. ये करने से पहले सोचना चाहिए था कि उसमें तो पब्लिक को परेशानी आ रही है ज्यादा कर तो गरीब मारे जा रहे हैं क्योंकि 100 किसी के पास है ही नहीं और 2000 की नोट कहीं छुट्टा कराने जाएंगे तो वो भी छुट्टा मांगते हैं 2000 में ऐसा का 100 का 100 का सामान लेंगे तो मिलना नहीं है तो 2000 की नोट से पहले चालू हो गई है और इतना प्रॉब्लम आ गया कि अगर कोई घर की प्रॉब्लम है कुछ है या किसी की शादी है तो आज पब्लिक बहुत परेशान है उसके वजह से क्यों कैश नहीं मिल रहा किसी को आज बैंक बंद और टोटल जो भी एटीएम है सब में कैश नहीं है कोई कोई एटीएम में है वो भी इतनी लंबी लाइन लगी हुई है वो लाइन लगाने के बावजूद भी मिलता जा रहा था हजार रुपये या पाँच सौ रुपये मोदी का डिसीजन बिल्कुल सही है ये होना चाहिए था तो ये तकलीफ कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है नहीं तकलीफ हो रही है बट जो भी डिस हंड्रेड रुपीज बट ये पानी के लिए कुछ खोना पड़ता है तो मोदी का डिसीजन भी बहुत सही है क्या है थोड़ा खुशी थोड़ा गम थोड़ा तकलीफ होगा ही लेकिन फ्यूचर के लिए अच्छा है इसलिए थोड़ा दिक्कत तो होगा ही है ना मैडम मैं सुबह से घूम रहा हूँ एटीएम के लिए पर किधर भी एटीएम चालू नहीं कोई बैंक चालू नहीं और पैसा है भी नहीं मैं निक सुबह से मतलब गाड़ी लेके ट्राई कर रहा हूँ आज जैसे कि आपको पता है कि बैंक के बंद हैं एटीएम सारी बंद हैं अब हमें जो रोज़मर्रा की आवश्यकताएं हैं उनकी आवश्यकताओं की पूर्ति हम किस तरह से करें हमारा सरकार से यह प्रश्न है एंड दैट्स अ रैप ऑन द बिग स्टोरी थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.